The very first stop of any foreign tourist in Hanoi is always Văn Miếu Quốc Tử Giám, a temple of literature, which reveals the Hanoian spirit of study in the past. It is on top of the historical and beautiful sightseeing of the beautiful capital of Vietnam. Please follow us in a brave tour of exploring its beauty and deep values. The Great Gate is led to three pathways that run the length of the complex. The central park was stopped for a monarch. The one to its left is the administrative mandarins. And the one to its right is for military mandarins. The temple was first constructed in the te in the 1070 under King Lý Nhân Tông, located to the south of Sang Thang Long Sitaroi. It is the most prominent and famous one among all temples of literature that can be found throughout Vietnam. The, the in interior of the city of the site is divided into five courtyards. The first courtyard extends from the Great, great Portico to the Great Middle Age. It is flanked by two smaller gates, a ten to Dai Tai, and a complex feature, Thần Đức. The second courtyard is notable for the constellation of, liter of literature pavilion. A unique architecture work built in 1805, a symbol of Hanoi today. The pavilion is built of four whitewashed stone steels, and at the top of it is a red color pavilion with four circular windows and an elaborate roof. To the side of the constellation of literature pavilions are the crystallization of letters yet and the magnificence of Lettergate, which praise the beauty of the content and form of literature. The first and second courtyards are quiet areas with a tree and trim lawn, where scholars could relax away from the postal outside of the world beyond the thick stone wall. The entrance to the third courtyard is through the dominating constellation of literature, a large pav pavilion built in 1802. On either side of the well of heaven clarity stands two great holes which house the two treasures of the temple. 82 doctors tell stellar symmetrically lined up on the two sides of the tank. Leading to the fourth courtyard is the great synthesized gate flanked by two smaller gates, golden sounds and gel vibration. There are 82 preserved stellae of Dr. Laureate, which record the names and native place of 1307 graduates took for 82 trainee royal exams. 81 exams were held by the Le dynasty and one by the Mark dynasty. The stellae were first set up in 1484 under King Le Thanh Tông to honor talent and encourage present and future generations to study. The stellae erected soon after the exams or some years later are carved of blue stone of different size and engraved with elaborate motifs. Of the 116 stills corresponding to the examinations, only 82 remain and 34 are believed to have been lost over the years. The work of literature engraved on each still is in ancient Chinese praise, the merit of the merits of the monarch and cite the reason for holding royal exams. Also included on the steel were the number of candidates and the function of the man mandarins whose task it was to organize the exam and engrave the name and birthplace of successful candidates. The stelae of Dr. Larius were placed on giant stone turtles which are
a symbol of longevity. The, the placement of the doctor's stele shows everlasting respect to talent. The shape of the turtles change with the passing of time. The doctor's stele are a valuable historical research for the study of culture, education, and sculpture in Vietnam. Following to the Fort Courtyard. In the Fort Courtyard, on the right and the left sides of the ceremonial court, stand two holes. Two holes, originally used to house Arthur to the 72 most honored disciples of Confucius and Chuvanan. Director of the Imperial Academy. The center of the house, uh, in the center, is the house for ceremonies by Duong, where ceremonies took place for auspicious occasions. The next building is the Dai Tang Sanctuary, where Confucius and his four closest disciples are worshipped. The fifth courtyard was reconstructed in 2000 on the former grounds of the Imperial Academy to honor the national traditions of culture and education of Vietnam. In 1076, King Li Nhân Tông orders the construction of the Imperial Academy and select literate mandarins as its students. In 1236, it was enlarged and named as Quốc Tử Viện, then Quốc Học Viện. Under the Lê Dynasty, it was called Thái Học Viện and reconstructed. Under the Nguyễn Monarch, the Khai Thanh Srin was, Srin was built to honor the parents of Confucius. However, the courtyard was completely destroyed by the French in, on, in 1946. The reconstructed design of the fifth courtyard was based on the traditional architecture in harmony with the surrounding size of the temple. With an area of 1,530 square meters out of the total of 6,150 square meters, the Thai Hop courtyard consists of the front building, the rear building, left and right buildings, bell house, rum house and other buildings. The front building is used for organizing ceremonies in memory of cultural scholars, scientific activities, and for cultural events. The rear building consists of two stories. The ground floor is used for displaying the statue of Chuvanan, rector of the academy, to honor him and the exhibits of the temple and the academy, and on the Confucian education in Vietnam. The upper floor is dedicated to the three monarchs who contribute most to the foundation of the temple and the academy. Li Thanh Tông, who found the temple, Li Nhân Tông, who found the imperial academy, and Lê Thanh Tông, who ordered the erection of the stone stele of Dr. Laureates. In both sides of the rear building are a square house for a drum and a bro bronze bell. The drum's diameter is about 2 meters wide and 2.6 meters high with a weight of 700 kilograms.
The bell was cast in 2000 with a height of 2.1 meters. Its diameter is nearly 1 meters wide. Though having gone through, through lots of restoration work, the temple still retains its very first original shape to be one of the visit-worthy sightseeing of Hanoi, captivating to a huge number of tourists elsewhere. A space of peace, green trees, and solemnity covers the whole temple of historical and traditional love for study, making tourists feel like they were lost in a land of confusion and traditional values. If you are in Hanoi, you should really come and explore it yourself.